Zakat, that which purifies, is one of the pillars of Islam, requiring those eligible who own wealth over the Nisab to pay 2.5% of their qualifying wealth to the poor. To pay Zakat, one must be an adult, Muslim, sane, in possession of Nisab, approximately 260 pounds. Calculating Zakat is an intricate procedure, but here's a brief guide on how you can calculate your estimated Zakat. Firstly, you need to add up your Zakatable assets. Cash, whether in multiple bank accounts and liquid assets or investments, such as stocks, bonds and foreign currency. Gold and silver, jewellery, coins and bars, whether in use or in storage, as well as any personal items in which more than half the metal is gold or silver. Shares which are intended to be resold are subject to Zakat. However, if the shares are an investment to generate dividends, then the calculated dividends received should be liable for Zakat. Property and fixed assets, not including the house in which you live. Only additional properties and assets which are intended for resale or rental income is received. Pensions after the age of retirement. Debts owed to you, whether they be business debts or personal loans to family and friends. This does not include outstanding wages, dowry or inheritance. Business assets, including cash, finished goods, works in progress, raw materials and money that is owed to the business. Now we can subtract liabilities from the total of your Zakatable assets. Personal liabilities such as living expenses, including rent, utility bills and debts. Business liabilities such as rent, bills, outstanding and overdue salaries. Total value of goods purchased on credit. Total value of short-term contract loans and the next year's long-term debt. After subtracting your liabilities from your assets, you can now check if you are eligible to pay zakat against the current value of nisab. If you have only gold assets, then the nisab measure for gold must be used, which will be the current value of 87.48 grams of gold. If you have mixed assets, which are most likely, you should use the nisab measure for silver, which will be the current value of 612.36 grams of silver. If your net assets are equal or over the Nisab, then Zakat is due on 2.5% of your total net assets. With this final figure, you now know how much you need to pay. Now you can log on to www.alkhair.org to use our Zakat calculator online and donate directly towards our Zakat collection programs. <laughs>